News 6's Lauren Korn joins us from Daytona Beach with the call for unity. The city of Daytona Beach says enough is enough with gun violence. And we need to heal. These families need to heal because they're victims on both sides. Daytona Beach City Commissioner Paula Reed organized tonight's prayer vigil to pray for those affected by the recent rash of gun violence. Most of the fatal shootings happening in November. We have a situation where we need to value life and in valuing life, we won't take the life of another. Jerry was, Jerry was very, you know, he's not a bad, he's not bad at all, not at all. Anthony Freeney just lost his younger brother, 21 year old Jarek Harris, Monday morning in a gun battle with police. He didn't deserve to be shot down like a, you know, in the streets like that. His family sharing pictures of the man who they say attended Florida A&M University, worked at a bank and loved sports. Body cam video shows how police exchanged gunfire with Harris after they say he fatally shot his neighbor, 21 year old Jamari Burks. Burks roommates declined to comment. He wouldn't hurt nobody. Creeney says he still doesn't understand why his brother resorted to violence. Something provoked to Jerry. Jerry, I don't know what, 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 what caused it. We're coming together as a unified body to say, look, Lord, we need your help. We don't know what's going on. We don't know what the situation is, but please, please help us to heal ourselves. Because if we can heal ourselves, then we can heal somebody else. And Reed tells me that she hopes residents will walk away from tonight's vigil with peace, more confidence in police, and hope that tomorrow will be a better day. In Daytona Beach, Lauren Corn getting results, News 6.